Hey guys, how are you? We are gonna work with some watercolors today. As of filming this, I don't know yet what I'm gonna call the video series. We're gonna start working with watercolors again here on YouTube. Um, uh, but I suppose if you're watching this, the name is in the title, so there you go. <laughs> um, I'm gonna give limited instruction here on YouTube. There'll be more detailed instruction over on Patreon. So if you are watching this on YouTube and you'd like to know more details about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and get a copy of the inspiration photo I'm using for this painting, all of that will be over on Patreon. So um, it's $2 a month. It's not expensive, uh, but there you have it. Um, I'm going to make my, sure my phone doesn't turn off while we're here because that would not be helpful. Um, okay, so there we have it. This is a photo I took the other night on a walk when um, the moon was shining very brightly. It's cloudy and stormy out. It's actually going to snow soon. I do live in Oregon. Um, so we're going to use that as inspiration. And um, I am going to paint something on my page now. I did tape off the edges so that I could get something more like this that I did last time. We did a watercolor page here for my creative year. Uh, I like the idea of the, uh, for right now, of having the sharp edges. So we're gonna do that again. So I used some painter's tape to tape off the edges. I am going to get to painting, and for those of you on YouTube, I'll be fast forwarding through the process and I'll be back at the end.
All right, guys, that is my process. As always that you know, I start, as you saw in the sped up video, um, I start with my lighter colors and work my way darker. I, as I said, I'm trying hard to take this photo, which I didn't retouch, but is uh, because it was a dark gray night, um, it came out naturally in black and white. Now, you could take a photo that you've taken and make it black and white with a photo app. There's a lot of them out there. Um, and use this for inspiration for shape and composition, but use warm and cool colors to create my painting, which is what I did here. I think pretty successfully. I'm pretty happy with it. I hope that um, you got some inspiration out of watching the video about what you can do with watercolors. As you know, if you don't know, start light, work your way darker, um, tr say, try to save your light or white space. And you can really layer the colors on top of each other because for the most part, your watercolors are gonna be transparent and you'll really be able to see the other marks and the other colors through them. Um, it's always a good idea to do a color key and some swatches and really play. Get us something like a journal like this and play and experiment with your paints so that you know what they're gonna do, what you can and can't do with them. Anyway, that being said, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube or see the full video tutorial. You can do that over on Patreon. It's only $2 a month. If you don't want to do that, you can definitely support the content in a lot of other ways, including shopping in my Etsy shop, um, uh, putting money in my uh, PayPal tip jar, um, using my Amazon affiliate link, um, among other things. There's links for all of that in the description below. Don't forget to um, Leave any questions, comments, or concerns down below, and um, that's it. Go out and have a great day. Play with your paints. Play with, play with your watercolors. Have some fun, and yeah, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.